Hello, Rick Patterson. Thanks for coming to my video. Uh, just, you know, one of those things that you really hate about home ownership is uh, plumbing. And, uh, you know, you can do electrical, you can do carpentry, you can do sheetrock, I, you know, I don't painting, anything. And it does have its complications, but the most messiest, disgusting thing that I can think of as a homeowner, uh, you, you got to clean your plumbing. And uh, in, in doing plumbing, you're always going to run into something that you just despise, you know. Uh, oftentimes, I, I say, you know, instead of doing this job, I would rather do plumbing. Well, today, I get that day where I have to do a plumbing job. And uh, one of these issues is, uh, you can see, uh, maybe some of this work that I've already started. What happened here, I'm in the basement. Directly over me is the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink is a double sink and uh, attached to one of the sides is uh, a garbage disposal. And if you've got a garbage disposal, um, I would recommend doing uh, a clean out at least once a year. Uh, whether you hire someone or you do it yourself, um, I would recommend doing it at least once a year. Do some treatment on that drain line. Uh, especially where you got a food disposal uh, attached to it because um, believe it or not it doesn't always flush all the way down I'm going to show you in this video uh, what happened in this house when the uh, drain line was uh, neglected for one thing wasn't cleaned out on a, on a regular basis and uh, this is more preventative maintenance than anything uh, what I'm talking to you now is you know, the, the, old, the old adage, a stitch in time saves nine. Well, uh, preventative maintenance can really save you a lot of money. And um, a regular plumber probably charge you anywhere from upwards from 110 to $160 an hour uh, just doing what I'm doing right here. So if you do this yourself and you find yourself in this situation, where your drain line is clogged. Uh, here's some, I'm going to share with you some of the issues that I've encountered on this drain line here. So let's talk about it. Okay, as you can see here, I've just cut into this pipe. I've cut both sections out. I couldn't run a snake through it, and I was wondering why. And this is why. Uh, if you can see here, this is completely filled uh, with just junk over the years. This pipe's probably about 26 years old, um, and so that's what happens when you don't clean your pipes, when you use grease uh, and other things. Is this especially happens on a disposal where you're just flushing things down uh, periodically, but over the years, this is what happens. So now we've got a uh, repair to make here. Now, just to kind of give you a, a, a heads up, when you're working with toxic anything that's caustic, um, I'm going to be using some drain cleaner here. Um, this is Crystal Heat, and it's a ZEP commercial. I do not get paid for this advertisement. So um, this is professional strength. I wanted to use the, the, the most powerful thing um, on the market, and I got this at the local hardware store. Uh, dissolves grease, soap, soap scum, and hair, safe for all pipes and septic tanks. So, uh, this is what I'm using here. Now, when I'm using this, I'm going to get the very best uh, gloves. Let me see what that is. And uh, this is called uh, Long Cuff. Let me see if you can see it here. Long Cuff uh, PVC coated gloves. And uh, I, I do recommend the long cuffs because it covers more of the uh, arm. Now, uh, one of the things I'm going to have to do, obviously, uh, is cover my face when I'm working with this. So I went and bought a uh, face shield, and it's going to look like this. So uh, it will cover my face, and I'll be protected there. I am wearing long sleeves. I will pull my sleeves down. Um, I've got them buckled up right now, I'm just pushed up, but I will push those inside my gloves to make sure that I'm covered completely and uh, protected from this because this stuff is, uh, can be very, very dangerous and it's very volatile. 
uh, it's a chemical reaction. It works, uh, reacts with water and uh, it generates heat and so will start melting down uh, some of this debris here. Now I'm going to just do something and excuse me, it's kind of gross, but I'm going to reach up inside this pipe here and just kind of show you some junk uh, that I'm getting out. And uh, this is from the drain line and it's from the garbage disposal. And it's uh, honestly, it's just pretty sick. Uh, this is chicken and, and no telling what else that was clogged up uh, in there. It's been sitting here for about four days, I guess. And um, so I get the privilege of doing this. If it gets too bad for you, um, what I've seen, uh, I've seen coroners do this and people that work with uh, dead bodies. Basically, this is uh, almost the same. Uh, you can take a, a face mask and um, spray it with some, uh, some sort of a, a scent like an orange or anything like this and uh, just spray the outside of it. That way uh, it's masking the smell, but uh, gosh, this gets pretty gross. So I'm going to clean this out, continue cleaning this out. On this side, hope I don't gag <laughs> too much. It's pretty sick. So uh, anyway, got to clean out this part. This is the part where the line's coming down and uh, it goes through. And what I've done earlier, uh, you've seen, is I cut out a six inch uh, area right here to where I could get to and see what's going on. Reason I did this because the um, the cap on my clean out uh, was stuck and it started breaking so I'm going to have to do a repair here. I didn't want to, I could have re replaced all of it and I started to do that and I thought well why do all that and um, so anyway we're just going to clean this out and then we're going to start cleaning this out and we'll talk about this in, in the next step. Okay, what I've done is cleaned out uh, all the way down to the bend in the pipe that goes down to the main. And then I've cleaned back up towards the sink so all the uh, food crud is out and it's clear now. What I'm going to do is now make the patch. This is Rick Patterson with the Handyman Toolbox. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos and you'll see a link below Click on it, the 1,000th person that subscribes to thehandymantoolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.